they could have once on Venus exist oceans. Venus, our neighboring planet is currently dry and parched a wasteland where life as we know it could not survive. But according to the Earth's twin may have had the results of new research in the ancient past conditions for maintaining liquid water on the surface. Moreover, analyses they showed that there could even be oceans there. Venus is relatively close to Earth, however the conditions there are completely different. The neighboring planet is today a hot and dry world, slightly smaller than Earth, with only traces amounts of water vapor in a dense atmosphere, consisting mainly of CO2. However, in the distant past, Earth's twin could have been much more so the friendly may have had liquid water on the surface. In new research that appeared in the proceedings of the National Magazine Academy of Sciences scholars suggest that perhaps even it was present oceans. There is no need to convince anyone that Venus is far from blue planet. It is extremely dry, hot, and its thick atmosphere is in it is mainly composed of carbon dioxide. The pressure there atmospheric is as much as 92 times larger than what we know from Earth. Makes it, that the temperatures prevailing on Venus are even higher than those we would encounter on Mercury, located much closer to the Sunday. Water on Venus exists under a form of water vapor, but its amounts are trace. However, the question arises, has it always been like this? Exists the possibility that on Venus we have never even dealt with water in the form of liquid. However, the new models point to a completely different story. According to her, in the distant past, even at the beginning of the formation of our treaty sunny, Venus may have had completely different conditions. Radiation at that time the sun was about 30% weaker, which could ultimately contribute to the fact that temperatures on the neighboring planet may have been lower. Going further, the pressure on this planet could also have been much more bearable. But was there water there then? It is possible that in indeed, some 700 million years ago, this was the case. However, later the galloping greenhouse effect led to its boiling. That's in some way sense a warning to us and our approach to our planet. The issue of the potential presence of water on Venus and its amount researchers from the University of Chicago decided to take a closer look. Creating the computer model of Venus atmospheric history began with the assumption that in in the past on the planet, the climate was not only much more bearable, but there was also an ocean there. Then they entered different data sets into it reflecting different water levels in the oceans, they then analyzed in relation to three different subsequent water evaporation processes and oxygen losses on the planet that may have occurred there. This one was analyzed in total the issue in various configurations is as many as 94,080 times, introducing the system at the same time scoring which was intended to enable the selection of those results that they would be closest to the current state of the atmosphere on Venus. It turned out that only a few hundred of the results obtained it produced results similar to what conditions currently exist on the second planet from the Sunday. To reflect the processes that occurred there, the maximum depth the oceans could not be greater than 300 meters, but the time in which on Venus could theoretically be lived, it would have to be 3 billion years old ago. It follows that this planet was uninhabitable until 70% of the time of its existence, which is as much as 4 times the previous time estimates in this respect.